Hey guys, I hope you're all having a good week. Uh, I just want to number one apologize. I haven't been around as much this week. Um, I started grad school uh, this this week and I've been really busy. So I'm going to have to change up some of how I've been doing my channel over the past few weeks. Um, those two update videos, the Thursday video and the Sunday video, I might have to cut those out initially until I can figure out how to better handle my schedule because uh, the new classes I have with the added studying and um, just the social aspects that I have um, added um, is taking up a lot of my time and I don't have as much time to make and edit those videos. So for now, um, I'm sorry, but try to just um, look forward to this one response video to Jordan. Um, talking about response video to Jordan, um, I liked your video Jordan and um, I think it is valuable to look at um, our plans and so I'm going to um, break down my plan of what I'm doing. I'm going to try to keep it short um, so I can stay within our recommended five minutes. Um, I've been, for food, I kind of am going to break up into food and exercise. For food, um, I've been doing six meals throughout the day. Um, so I normally start first meal when I wake up. 98% of the time I've been doing Kashi cereal with skim milk and that has been really well. Kashi cereal is high in proteins so that normally helps me feel um, Full after eating it and so that's going to be probably a good thing for the morning so I've been avoiding um, going to uh, the line at work and getting bacon or any type of bread sweets like donuts or anything like that I've cut that out I'm doing the cereal with the skim milk and I've done that consistently for my first snack I eat it at about 9 30 I normally do fruit I've done mixed fruit um, the Yeti's been helping with that we have different things different berries like blueberries, blackberries, um, raspberries. We have some kiwi we put in there. Um, cantaloupe. Um, I don't know if I said strawberries. Um, just whatever you like. We do a lot of grapes because I'm a big fan of grapes. And so whatever you like, you can throw it in there and mix it up. And then you have different tastes. And I normally fix a small container of that uh, for that mid-morning snack. And that normally hits my sweet tooth uh, for the day. Um, and that's been helping me crave less and less sweet things to eat later. Lunch, um, I do eat out a lot for lunch, and so you got to be smart where you go. I eat a lot of salads. I would say about 85 to 90 percent of the time when I go out, I get salads. Um, some other things I've tried at Lizard Stick It. Uh, we went there once. I got a baked chicken with um, all vegetable sides, and I didn't feel like that was really bad. Um, when I went to Olive Garden, if you watched that video, I just ate the um, salad so it comes in that huge bowl and I ate that once and that was really filling and that was really good um, and just really thinking about uh, what you can do the Chinese and Japanese restaurants have been my hardest ones uh, with Chinese I would definitely go without fried uh, for me uh, without the fried rice and normally trying to cut out, cut some stuff out let me stop because I just remember something um, I have not been doing any sodas and no red meat. I think for me that has been the biggest changes. Um, so throughout the day I'm drinking lots of water. Um, I try to keep water beside me at all times. So if I ever get thirsty that is what I'm grabbing. Um, I will admit at work every day I do grab a bottle of diet green tea um, just because I need something sweet sometimes and that really helps again to get that sweet tooth out of me. Um, but I drink a lot of water. I think I'm probably drinking my required intake or more just because that's what I'm filling myself up as the day goes on. So try to get as much water as you can. Um, so after lunch, I have about um, in the middle of the afternoon, I eat at about 2.30. Um, I've been doing probably 90% of the time some unsalted trail mix. Um, you can go to the store and look. I think ours is called the Campfire um, Trail Mix. Um, it has um, different kinds of seeds in it, some raisins, some dried fruits, prunes that I really love. Um, and just some of that kind of stuff to kind of spice it up. I think it's a lot better than the salted, um, number one, for the sodium intake, and two, just because it's better for you. And so um, I've been getting, my, the Yeti has been uh, really good at getting that, and that's normally what I try to eat around then and then um, after a workout I'm normally pretty hungry and so some things I've done for that snack is I have a banana or I have an apple um, we 
actually got some hummus recently, so I take some celery and dip it in the hummus, and that's been really good. Not overdoing it with the hummus, because hummus can be high in calories, but just to, again, you got to get those tastes, but you're really craving a taste, and I, well, me, I normally crave taste, and that's normally why I want something. And so if I can keep the quantity of that taste down, when I've gotten the taste, it can be done with it, and I can just move on. Um, I've also done um, some celery with peanut butter. And so you just be creative with that one. Um, it can be what you want. Um, and I've just been kind of taking that down a notch. For dinner, I've eaten a lot of different things, um, but one some common themes in that is normally... Um, baked chicken, uh, we eat a lot, um, fish, I love tilapia, uh, we've done, been doing that some, um, always pretty much we have some sort of vegetable on the side, um, sometimes we do a stir fry, um, if I do go out I try to be um, pretty cautious with what I'm eating, because dinner is that meal that I normally want to stuff myself, um, if there's something that I really like, um, let's say we were going to eat spaghetti, I'll get a saucer plate instead of a full plate so I know I'm gonna like it I'm only gonna eat as much as I can so I try to make my portion smaller because those things are okay you can eat them you just have to eat them in reasonable quantities so um, that's what I do for things for things I really start to question um, whether this is okay for me to eat I normally take the quantity down on that so I can still taste it for example tonight I'm going uh, my church is having a potluck going to be eating a lot there and so I'm probably going to get small portion very small of everything so I can taste it all so I can get all those tastes out of my brain um, but not enough of one particular thing that it would load me with the calories um, so that's mainly my food um, again this feels like it's going long so I'm going to switch to exercise um, exercise I had a regimen um, my knee kind of broke that up and also now my schedule with school is starting to break that up but here is normally what I try to do um, I try to do weights on Monday and Friday what I mean by weights is I'll go to the gym I try to do five minutes of cardio um, right now I'm just doing the bike because of my knee and then I try to do four sets of two machines and this could get confusing it's in one of my previous videos but um I might do something that uh, one of the weight machines that targets my shoulders and one of them that does my abs. So I would do eight reps on the shoulders and eight reps on the ab um, for the abs and can go back and forth between those two for three times. Then I would do something else that focuses two others, my shoulders and my back maybe. So I pick four different um, combinations of machines and I'll do that. and. Um, it's really good if you try not to take breaks when you're doing that because then it becomes a cardio exercise. And so if you are working different parts of the body, like your abs and then your um, your shoulders, you can do the shoulders for eight times and then run and do the abs for eight times. And by the time you get back to the shoulders, they've rested and you don't have to just sit there waiting for you to have the energy again. And it becomes kind of a cardio exercise. And so I do that and then... Sometimes, and I do stretches before, and I do some stretches after. And so that's kind of, when I say I'm going to the gym uh, to lift, lift weights, that's kind of what I'm focusing on. I still haven't picked the certain machines I'm using, uh, and I am kind of going to do two different gyms right now, so I haven't really decided. Then um, I was doing uh, C25K, but the knee kind of messed it up. So on um, Tuesday, Thursday... And Saturday I've been trying to do some cardio for a minimum of 30 minutes um, right now that's been trying to swim um, I'll admit I missed I missed on Thursday because I have class uh, for three hours on Thursday night and I'm at work all day on Thursday so I'm gonna have to start to um, really look at that and try to figure out how to fit the exercise in my schedule um, but I will be looking at that a lot as in the upcoming weeks as I start to fit myself into my schedule because it's all new and it's just hard to kind of figure out what I have time for and what I don't. So that's kind of been my plan. So the two days of weights and three days of the cardio. So I hope that um, you kind of understand what I'm really trying to focus on now. That's really been kind of what I've been leading by. And with food, again, I've just been making 
a decision. I don't know. I don't understand how I've been this driven to make those decisions. But when I get to food, I always, always try to make a better option. So I went to a pizza party um, on Friday, and I knew that I probably was going to eat some pizza. And so immediately beforehand, I told myself, you're going to get a veggie pizza or you're going to get a cheese pizza. You're not going to get anything else, and you're not going to eat more than one slice. I actually ate two, but they were spread out. So, but but um, I avoided anything that had the meat on it because I knew the meat was going to be extra calories. That I, In the end, I didn't miss the meat. I wanted the pizza. I didn't care about the pepperoni. I didn't care about sausage. I wanted to taste the pizza. So I picked the pizza that had the lowest calories for that taste. And so that's really what you got to focus on is those tastes that you want, there's going to be substitutes that you can eat that won't be as bad. So again, long video, sorry, trying to fit a whole week into a five minutes. So I hope everyone's doing well. I'm trying to get around to viewing your videos and I hope everyone stays dedicated and motivated and keep going because you can meet your goals and I know you can. Uh, we're gonna do this together so I never told you how much I lost <laughs> so end of video here we go this week I lost 2.5 pounds that puts me at a total loss um, since August 1st um, at 14 pounds which is crazy I don't understand how I've ever lost 14 pounds in that time I never lose weight this quick so I think it's just because of those really uh, fundamental decisions I've been making um, and so that puts me with 11 pounds left to lose for my goal of 25 pounds. And um, I also have lost a size in my pants. When I started the challenge, I was wearing 38s and I couldn't even put a button on a 36. Um, I tried, I think maybe last week, and I could finally button it, but it was very uncomfortable. So uncomfortable that the button probably would have popped if I wore that. <laughs> and so. Today, I tried it again, and I can now semi-comfortably wear it, and so I did. I wore a 36 today, um, a pair of pants. And so, keep going. You, you can find whatever way that you want to to measure your success, but just keep going and keep pushing. I know you can do it. All right, guys. I hope you have a good week.